before I talk a little bit about who I am and why I'm running and to answer the question, I'd like to introduce my wife, Jennifer, who made the drive out with me. You know, Mike and I really ought to start carpooling on Highway 14, but my lovely wife was more than willing to drive out with me today, and so I thank her for that. This truly is a family event when you make a commitment and a decision as large as running for office. And I, I was telling uh, Senator Ortman earlier today that when we got our literature, my nine-year-old grabbed a handful of it and promptly started walking around the neighborhood to hand it out to the other nine-year-olds. So, anyway. Folks, again, my name is Aaron Miller, and I am running to be your next congressman. And I'm running for several reasons, but primarily because when I look at my children, I look at a, an America that we're about ready to hand to the next generation that is not better than my parents offered me, and I think, quite frankly, that that's embarrassing. And you've heard from several other uh, candidates tonight about what some of the issues are. And so I'm going to touch less on the issues and more about why I'm qualified to be your next congressman. But when we look at the fiscal house that, the, that Washington has put us in, when we look at that $17 trillion debt, when we look at the fact that the government has grown so large and virtually unmanageable that we're having scandals like the IRS, the NSA, Benghazi, and yes, Syria. Syria is a scandal. We'll talk about that in a moment. And by the way, the IRS is the agency that's going to be in charge of seeing whether you have paid your fines or got health care. In January, one-sixth of the U.S. economy is going to go under the purview of the president when Obamacare kicks in. And I think we've already seen the challenges and the failings of that policy. You know, health care reform is much needed and it's necessary. But health care reform should be bipartisan. And Obamacare is nothing more than a pol partisan political trick. And unfortunately, we're the ones that uh, are going to have to pay for that. Was mentioned, Jim mentioned earlier that I'm a private sector individual. I've got 15 years in the healthcare industry. Um, one of the issues that I think is going to be most important in 2014 is to get the United States' fiscal house in order. And in order to do that, I believe that any time the answer is bigger government, we're not asking the right question. I think that the private sector uh, and, and small business owners and business owners all across the United States, they find a way to get it done. And they do it by a little bit of ingenuity, and a little bit of faith in themselves. And the government has lost faith in us as a people, and they have taken it upon their responsibility to make all the decisions for us. And that's not the way that we've been successful over the past years. So when you look at our fiscal house, common sense uh, approach is always the best way. I don't believe that the government is the answer for all of our questions. I, I want to look at sending folks to Washington that have the same values that we have down here in southern Minnesota. It was mentioned that I grew up in central Iowa. Really, central Iowa isn't that much different. My parents taught me to live within my means. Uh, they were always willing to help folks out when somebody needed it, but most importantly, they didn't expect a handout. Under this president, you know, the, the food stamps, the folks that are on food stamps have doubled. The welfare programs are bloated and out of control, and that falls back into the fiscal irresponsibility that we, come, we see coming out of Washington. The other thing I'd like to mention is Syria. That came up today. You know, as a veteran of 27 years in the military, my wife is also um, a veteran. I find it absolutely embarrassing that we have an administration that wants to use the military as a political pawn, and that's really what it was. Um, over the last six years of this administration, he's done nothing but lead from behind. And as your congressman, one of the things that I, one of the votes that I find most important is to whether to send our sons, our daughters, and our men and women into harm's way. And the first question I want to ask of any administration when I'm offered that vote is number one, is the national interest or the defense of this nation at risk? The second question I would ask, are any of our allies or their national interests at risk? Thirdly, I wanna know what the strategy is. Why are we going into this country and putting our soldiers at harm's risk, in, in harm's way? And lastly, I want to know what the exit strategy is, because I've been boots on ground in countries where we haven't had a clearly defined mission and really didn't have an end point. And I'm glad to see, this is tongue in cheek, that the Russians came to our rescue. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought that we would be thanking Vladimir Putin for rescuing us from a military situation? I find that very embarrassing, and I'm sorry to get off on a tangent on that, but again, uh, as a veteran, I find that to be quite offensive. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aaron Miller, and I don't believe that our best days are behind us. I believe that 2014 is going to be a very, very bright year, not up and down the ticket, not only uh, at the state level, but across the country. 
And the reason I think that that's going to be is folks in January, when they wake up to the Mark Dayton tax uh, increases and they wake up to their Obamacare health care increases and they wake up to the fact that our country is not headed in the right direction, I think that they're going to come back to the party of answers and the party of solutions. And that party is the GOP. Thank you.